In this session, we'll take a look at X and Y intercepts, and we'll also take a look at slope intercept form, and we'll use slope intercept forms to write some linear equations. So first we'll talk about X and Y intercepts. And X intercepts there where the graph crosses the X axis. And they're in the form A comma zero. To find the X intercept, we let y equals zero and we solve for x. For y intercepts, okay, there where the graph crosses the y axis. They're in the form zero comma a, where a can be any number. To find the y-intercept, we let x equals zero and solve for y. Right. So if we take a look at a pictorial example, right, let's say that we have this is our graph. Okay, we're not given a function or anything, but we're just given a graph where that graph crosses the x axis at this point. This is the x intercept where the line crosses the y axis. This is the y intercept. And if I actually were to put a couple of points to these, just so we can see the form, the coordinates for this point, which is the x-intercept, I'm at the origin. So if I move two places to the left, the x-coordinate is negative 2. Since I don't move up or I don't move down, I'm staying on the x-axis. My y coordinate is zero. So notice that for any x intercept, it's in that form a comma zero, where a would represent some constant number, and that would put that point on the x axis. For this y intercept, so notice that it crosses at, and if I pull out my ordered pair, I'm at the origin. I don't move to the left. I don't move to the right. So my x coordinate is zero. I'm going to go up positive two. So that y intercept has an x and y ordered pair of zero comma two. And notice that the ordered pair for any y intercept is zero comma a. So let's take a look at an example. So in this example, we're asked to find the x and y intercepts. And we're given this equation, 2x plus 5y is equal to 10. All right, so if we were to find the x-intercept, We're going to let y equal 0. So we have 2x 
plus 5y is equal to 10. I'm going to substitute y equal to 0. So we have 2 times x plus 5 times 0 is equal to 10. All right, 5 times 0 is 0, so we have 2x is equal to 10, and therefore x is equal to 5. So when x is 5, y is 0. Conversely, to find the y-intercept, we're going to let x equal to 0. All right, so we're going to take the same equation, 2x plus 5y is equal to 10. We're going to let x equal to 0. So we have 2 times x, which is 0, plus 5y is equal to 10. 2 times 0 is 0, so I'm going to bring down 5y is equal to 10. I'm going to divide both sides by 5, so y is equal to 2. So we have the y-intercept as when x is 0, y is 2. Next, we're going to talk about slope-intercept form. And for slope-intercept form, it's given as y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope. Okay, and we talked about the slope is the rise over the run, or the slope through two points is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And we have b, which is the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is given with the coordinates 0, 8. And in order to write the equation for any linear equation, there are only two items that are necessary. That is the slope and the y-intercept. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. In this example, we're asked to find an equation. We're given that the slope is m is equal to negative 2, and it passes through the point 0, comma, negative 2. So in this instance, we have the slope, which is 2, and we have the y-intercept, which is negative 2. So we're simply going to plug those into the slope intercept form and we have the equation y is equal to negative 2x minus 2. We're going to take a look at another example. So here again we're asked to find the equation So we're given that m is equal to negative 2, and it passes through the point negative 2, comma, negative 1. Right. So notice, in this instance, we're given the slope, but we're not given the y-intercept. So the first thing we're going to do is find the slope. And that slope is given as negative 2. All right, so we're going to use that in our slope intercept form. The second thing we want to do is find B, which is the y intercept. In order to find the y intercept, we're going to use slope intercept form 
which is y is equal to mx plus b. We're going to substitute in m for negative 2, and we're going to substitute in our ordered pair point. Negative 2 comma negative 1. We're going to substitute x for negative 2 and y for negative 1. And we're going to solve for b. So we're going to put that in slope intercept form. So we have y, which we're going to substitute for negative 1. That's equal to m, which is negative 2, times x, which is negative 2, plus b. I'm going to bring down negative 1 and equals a negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 4. I'm going to bring down plus B. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. So I have negative 5 is equal to B. Since I have my slope of negative 2 and my Y intercept of negative 5, I'm going to put that together in slope intercept form as Y is equal to negative 2X minus 5. Let's take a look at another example. And here again, we're asked to find the equation. So we want to find the equation that passes through the points negative 7, comma, negative 2, and 7, comma, negative 6. So we're going to find the slope, so we're going to substitute. So y sub 2 is negative 6 minus, because there's a minus in our formula, and y sub 1 is negative 2 divided by x sub 2, which is 7, minus x sub 1, which is negative 7. So again, we must be mindful of all signs and operations. So those double negative make positive. So we have negative 6 plus 2 divided by 7 plus 7. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 over 14, which reduces down to negative 2 sevenths. So we have our slope as negative 2 sevenths. The next thing we're going to do is find, the next thing we're going to do is find B. So we're going to use slope intercept form, Y is equal to MX plus B. We have M is equal to negative 2 sevenths. And we have to choose a point on the line. Now we're given two points. We're given negative 7 comma negative 2, and we're given 7 comma negative 6. Doesn't matter which point we use. So I'm going to use that x of 1, y of 1 point. So I'm going to use negative 7, negative 2. So we're going to substitute negative 7 for x, and we're going to substitute negative 2 for y, and we're going to solve for b. So we have y, which is negative 2, that's equal to m, which is negative 2 sevenths times x, which is negative 7 plus b. I'm going to bring down negative 2. I'm going to bring down equals. A negative times a negative is a positive. The 7s will cancel, so I'm left with 2. I'm going to bring down plus b. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, so we have negative 4 is equal to b. 
And if we put our slope and y intercept together, we have the equation y is equal to negative 2 sevenths x minus 4.